Well, hello there. Uh, I was asked, how do I remove my information from the internet? And that's an interesting question. In fact, the first question was, how can I, well, is it possible? Can I remove my information from the internet? And the answer is yes, you have to be able to find it first. And it, the answer is actually usually, um, it depends. So uh, let's first talk about how to find it. So I have an alert here through google.com slash alerts, and I'll put some links down below when I post this. So this will allow me to search for phrases that I'm interested in. Um, so you can edit, you can delete, you can configure, but you can also just create another alert here. So I'm not going to do that right now because I have a, my, all my emails that I search, and honestly, I don't want to get emails from a lot of people, so I'm kind of hiding those. Um, if you want to search them, I'm sure you can find some of them online. Um, anyway, uh, there's a way for you to alert whenever anything gets created about you. So let's come over to um, the other question. So the is it uh, something that's acceptable to have your um, stuff removed? And the this became really big, although it was getting traction in, in other areas, but it became really big with... Uh, the European Union, the global um, rights protection uh, for people. So there's a right that they refer to as the right to be forgotten. And this is if you've done something in the past, that shouldn't affect the rest of your life. So you should be able to have certain things removed. And now, not everything. And it, it's interesting because uh, looking at the cases, uh, there's someone who's still something and they can't get their name removed. But uh, I like to talk to my students about this one in particular, um, where there you have an ex-soldier that was sentenced to life in prison for shooting two people on a yacht, but they were freed in 2002. This right to be forgotten came out, and they said, hey, I served my time. Um, I, we don't know a ton about it, so but they basically, this is not going to, this item in the past is not going to uh, reflect in my future. Um, it just causes extra stress and and issues with people finding my name online associated with with this murder, uh, and they they sued to get it removed, and they won. So you can find the story about the murder, you can find the story about every, but the individual's name's been removed. So um, there is a right to be forgotten. Now, if a site can push back and say no this it, we need this for a reason but then you can sue and the, the courts can can make them take action or or find them uh, until they do so uh, it this is another uh google page where it talks about how you can uh, get your stuff removed and i need i can't stress this enough the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the source that's posted it so um if it's on facebook Go to Facebook. Um, so, but you need to go to the web uh, master. Uh, a lot of the online social media platforms have the ability for you to report something and have it flagged and removed. Uh, sometimes you can reach out to the person that posted it, but you don't even have to do that. And I know a lot of people don't like to do that. But let's say it's a news story. Uh, you would reach out to the, to the person who created the news story and ask them to remove your name and give them the reasoning. If they won't, then you'd take them, uh, you'd, you'd do re legal actions. Um, so there are uh, routes that you need to follow. Uh, this is a, a great source for it, but the, can you, do you have the right to be forgotten? Yes. Um, is there good reasons to? Yes. Uh, can even a murderer have their, have their um, name associated with the murder forgotten? Apparently, yes. Um, so that is, it's a case by case basis and it, with a judge that one did all go all the way to court. So um, I hope that this is helpful. There are a lot of reasons you might want to have your name removed, um, especially for uh, people that are growing up as uh, digital natives versus someone like me who's a digital immigrant. So I did not have um, the internet the, the entire time when I was growing up. But people who did, did, sometimes you might have posted things or someone posted something about you that's not uh, flattering that you want to have removed uh, for whatever reason. Or you were a, uh, a child once and maybe not so bright and, and, and did something that you 
that you don't like people to know about. It's it's okay to say, hey, look, I was young, I was stupid. It doesn't reflect on now. I would like it removed, and that's something that uh, that people should have the right to do, and they do have the right to do uh, within reason. So, uh, I hope this is helpful and that you've enjoyed this. Thank you.